right? And then it'll back to back to Dorian and. And he'll do that, and he'll actually he'll really get loose, and he'll throw a major in there, you know. And, he'll, and then he'll throw a major in there, and it's like, what the hell? And he gets away with it. So I got like this really hard job of impersonating this dude that, that just winged it almost every time. And then that's what I would do. I would go back and listen to the old club tapes and the old demo stuff, you know, the Gazari stuff, and, and it's oh my god, you know, was, he never played the same thing twice. Yeah. So I've got to bring that to people and imitate something that was never played twice. So he didn't sit down and say, "How do you play a guitar?" He sat down and said, I "Wonder what this does." Right, right. And he was a pianist first, and that's the yeah. thing. Another thing is, he knew never had a guitar lesson in my life. Ah, ah, ah baloney. Man, <laughs> he, he studied with a Russian piano teacher. You know, so yeah. he had all the basics. He knew his theory. He oh, knew very his well, music. very yeah. well. Yeah. And it, and it and it shows in his songwriting. Yeah. That's another thing. Is that I I, I I like to give him a ton of credit for is his amazing ability to just take one instrument and just write something that's just so and, you know it's oh, got yeah. so much impact and 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 do it album after album after album after album and yeah. just keep coming up and None everybody of it was really crap. I mean, he just. No, nah, no, nah, man. I mean, I missed the Van Halen albums. I can play cover to cover. That's kind of why I do the gig. Yeah. You know, I enjoy the gig so much and playing Van Halen's music that I, uh, that, um, you know, it's it's not really a job for me. Um, you know, I mean, I enjoy what I do. I mean, it's like, like I said, I must be an idiot because, like I well, said, I'm playing yeah, something that was improv. It was mostly improvisation. <laughs> yeah. And he'll, another thing is, oh. Now, if he's doing something like that, he does a lot of solos. Well, and that's an old Tommy Iommi thing, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, he's the trill. You know, he'll do a lot of trills and stuff like that. And it, 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 I don't know, like I said, if you have any advice, you know, like it, it, one time he said, he said, learn as many things as you can, and then forget them. <laughs> Yeah. Totally forget them. Just let because it go. Because you don't want to get locked into what you know. I know. I know. You right. Break you, out you don't. Of it and just, you, know, you, you don't. You don't. You can use sense. it, but not like, okay, I'm in this key. I can only use this key. No, there's just right. too many rules. And for every rule, you can break the rule, which means there are no rules, which means, you know. Oh, it's infinity, man. It's yeah. amazing. You know, and like you said, use it as a guide map to go down the road. It doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't other ways to go. Yeah, you know, and get to the same destination. So yeah, I mean, like, and that that's inspiring to me, and and it keeps me coming back. I never get bored. Every night I play, or I try to recreate what he's doing, I never get. I bored. saw him do a solo, and it was like I I saw you do it, but he was playing off of the twelve and just percussively hitting. Yeah, that's the Main Street thing, right? Like, yeah. There's nothing there. It's just rhythm, really. Yeah, sure. But and it's and, brilliant. And it kills people because, man, I'll tell you what, Ted Templeman, he was the producer, and he produced a Fair Warning, and that was the opening riff. And I remember being a kid, just being like, oh, that's it. I give up. Yeah. I just give up. And I'll tell you, it took me years to figure out what he did, because what they did was they uh, they kind of faded in to the song. Okay. To where you're way off pentameter. I mean, you're off the tempo already. You don't know and where so, you started. Right, right. Yeah. So the only way yeah. to do it was to see him do it live. But it was a... Uh, And that's that's just rhythm. Yeah. That's not even it's music. Just rhythm. You know? I mean, you're in E yeah. E in nothing. And, I it, know. I know. It sounds great. It's and it awesome. does. It's cool, man. And I remember too. I mean, anytime I've ever looked at Eddie's hands, he has what I call a hitchhiker's thumb. It goes. <laughs> you know, I think, so yeah. Hey, I mean, it bends all the way the other way. Yeah. And so when he's doing stuff like that, and he's doing his volume, and so, right. I mean, he, he, it's such subtle little motions because he's got that double joint. In his I know, I know, I'm, I know. And that's it, not fair. I have a normal joint. But I know, right? It's it, awesome. It makes it head ed, man. It was man. Two handed thing. You watch Paige do it go. Yep. 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 And then he all of a sudden he decided, well, let's take something and put it behind here. And he said, uh, we're going to go, you know. And then he went, okay, well, let's do it like this. Uh. And the next thing you know, you go. Now let's do some classical with it. You 
you know, and and it was like it was like, like, oh, was like wow, and and this and it was scary, scariest is that he did it when he was probably about twenty. Yeah, you know, I mean, here I am, almost twenty three <laughs> years later. You know, <laughs> you know, and I'm still, I'm still every he, day. I, I, it's like I said, every day is like he was inventive. I, oh man, I'm still I'm uncovering said, rocks. Let and me see what this out. does. Let me see what I can add to it. You know, sure, it's great. Everybody has a little thing. I mean, I know like Vivian Campbell, one of his real cliche Campbell kind of maneuvers is right. he often will come by and mute the strings and he just plays everything off of poles. Oh, yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah. And it's like you see yeah. that and you just go, that's a Campbell. And you, know, you see you see anybody doing this and all they think is Van Halen. Right, Everybody's right. got their thing. But Eddie's tapping was, you know, there are there are guys that do five-finger tapping with both hands. I mean, oh, I've sure. seen phenoms out there and there are guys that do things that are inhuman by all practical yeah, definition. Man. But there's a certain way that he does it that makes it his it makes own it his own thing. right exactly it's not that and he does it better than anybody or any he just well think about Vito Brada level. I like Vito yeah. Brada a lot I mean I'm a big Vito Brada fan man and he took his tap into a whole different level oh, he yeah. does other things you know like oh yeah you know he'll park off a core uh, you know if he's doing a D you know or, yeah. or he's like doing a D you know he's like, you know, something like that. He'll work off and the I different chords. Yeah. I do too. I mean, and, and it's all about your own expression, you know. And like, I, I was, a, I'm big, still am big Vinnie Moore fan. I think the world of Vinnie, man, he's amazing. And Tony McAlpine and all them players, and you know, they're still out there giving clinics and doing their thing. And, yeah. and everybody had their own niche, but uh, yeah, that was the man. He actually, before then, it was Donna Summer, man. And you know, yeah, you know, yeah, oh well, yeah. You know, you had that, and then you had the, uh, you know, typical guitar off. You know, the pad company sound, and that was about it. And yeah. then out of nowhere, you know, all of a sudden you've got Van Halen, you know, he's just going, you know, all kinds of crap. You know, and you go. You know, I'm like, what the, what the hell? You know, you know. Like you've never heard it before. You know, 